Hello everyone, this is the Vivida23 and welcome to the Mandanos Cave. Today we are going to be drawing Inktober 52 and the prompt is Glove. Uh, I have been changing the videos, yes, you would expect maybe to see a uh, <clears throat> some sort of One Piece video today, but I decided, as I explained in the previous video, to swap the days. Inktober video will come now on Wednesdays, One Piece will come now on Saturdays. Uh, this is because basically it's more comfortable for me, I have more time to, to draw one of the videos and to kind of think about uh, theories and, and ideas and everything. So, it worked very nice. <clears throat> The other day it worked very nice and we were able to even have a little bit extra more of views and everything in the in the latest video that I will put here. It's about Queen being maybe Frankie's father in One Piece and it's very interesting so I advise you, I, I recommend you to watch it and the drawing is very nice as well, one of my favorite drawings I've done. And yeah, uh, I'm gonna be drawing Glove, okay, I wanna do a uh, glove and it's gonna be someone here doing something, I don't know what yet, I'm just gonna be, you know, scratching in the surface here, doing some, I don't know, some doodle today, okay. Uh, I wanna just say quick, Inktober challenge has started, uh, I, uh, I wanna be, I'm gonna be doing uh, uh, this in Instagram, so I will leave in the show more sections down below uh, my link to my social media so you can go have a look to see what you think about it. I'm gonna be doing like a some sort of a mini story, comic, uh, funny thing with a little bit of color. Uh, last year I done a small comic in... Uh, I done a small comic in uh, digital the previous year as well, I've done a, a general big drawing in digital. The previous year as well, again, i done digital as well, a small comic. All of those comics and, and, uh, and caricatures, you can find them in my Instagram as well, if you scroll. Uh, when I started doing this challenge, like, uh, I don't know, 2017, 2018, more or less, something like that, uh, seriously, when I started seriously, because I was doing it before, but only every now and then, I basically, I basically uh, done a line, a line work of uh, of characters all line up uh, walking, and with that project as well, I done individual drawings in traditional that later I photograph very nice, put it in the computer. And in the computer and Photoshop, I've done all of them together in a line. Uh, I, one of my favorite uh, projects for Inktober is those walks. Uh, so I invite you to, you know, gossip a little bit my Instagram, my social media, and see uh, and see what you think, uh, what you think about it. Uh, this year it will be a little bit different. Uh, I've been practicing some characters and some ideas and I want to do something for myself. Something very funny, something very maybe quicker for me to draw because I'm more comfortable with traditional. I'm totally capable to draw in digital but I'm more comfortable in traditional and it comes to me easier and uh, uh, it takes me less time as well. Okay, uh, At the moment I'm doing the, the YouTube channel, I'm doing the Instagram, the constant drawings and everything. I'm working in other projects at the same time as well. I'm working uh, in my full-time work as well. So I maybe I don't have as much time. I could squeeze it to do it in digital, uh, but uh, I want to do something easier for me and comfortable this this uh, this, uh, this over 2024. So. I will be going for traditional, okay? So I already have the first one, and uh, today is Wednesday, uh, so I'll be, I'll gonna be posting as well the second one, and uh, yeah. So I fancy doing today this kind of. Uh, it's gonna be a glove, like rock and roll type of glove here, okay? But it's gonna be. I'm thinking about Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey Mouse glove, Mickey Mouse hand that has this, this, even if he has one less finger in the hand and everything, doesn't matter. Now I'm doing kind of some kind of 
experiment here with a drawing today. I want to do some kind of creature here, I think. Okay. I was watching uh, a kind of a, some sort of documentary about uh, you know the Disney Studios and everything the other day, and it was very nice to basically see, uh, basically see uh, the progress during the years of how Disney have evolved in the type of animation, in the type of art and everything that they've been doing, from starting with Snow White, that Snow White before Snow White they had kind of shorts going on already and, and some small uh, videos, so a short in animation, it's a small video, like a small movie, they had things like this, most of it as well related to music, there will be like a music background and then you will have uh, this kind of animation dancing to the sounds and everything, and everything obviously drawn in paper, by hand, manual, all animated by hand, painted by hand and everything, very beautiful, I love it. And then when they released the, the first uh, animation animation feature actually with the Snow White and everything uh, as well they used uh, uh, traditional animation for the whole project in general and if you see the characters like Snow White and the Prince for example uh, the, the human characters in the story they are highly realistic and that is because at the beginning of uh, of Disney and everything they they would take real people as reference and even record the people and use something called rotoscopy. And rotoscopy is basically, uh, they will trace some dances, some movements, some things on top of real image and then that will give you uh, uh, some sort of more realistic character, okay? This in Disney has evolved, so the beginning, at the beginning with the movies, uh, Disney was doing that with a couple of movies and then it, it it had a turn a little bit going into more cartoon style. Uh, I, I guess probably coming from the dwarves, that the dwarves more, were more cartoony caricature. And from there they started creating this kind of style in Disney. And uh, uh, watching this documentary, I, I kind of realized that the these guys, uh, well, the, the interviewer was talking with two of the directors. and di the, the directors are the ones who did the... the the latest um, short that it has all the characters in the in the franchise and everything uh, to celebrate the 100th anniversary and uh, they were surprised uh, uh, they were commenting that oh we don't know uh, people don't know why uh, projects like for example uh, uh, the you know there's there is a, a treasure island uh, similar, the Treasure Planet uh, reference for the movie and everything uh, from the Robert Louis Stevenson books that they made it kind of this space type of movie and everything and they couldn't understand how that movie, because it was more like an action uh, type of movie and adventure type of movie, no romantic, musical, more fantasy type of movie uh, they kind of couldn't figure out how that didn't work much in the story and uh, basically my opinion about that I wanted to talk about it because I found it very interesting for me as as, uh, as an artist and, and someone who studied animation and, and has been watching Disney movies and Warner Bros movies and other type of movies since I have kind of uh, uh, memories okay so for all of these basically I think what happened there is uh, they changed the style and that was the breaking point where they started introducing in those in those years, I think it was around the 2000s, more or less, something like that, when they introduced uh, a lot of, uh, of 3D into, into the traditional features that they had, okay? So far they had maybe some little things that they were introducing slowly into the main movies uh, in 3D, but with uh, uh, this movie and as well with Atlantis movie, uh, they used a lot of 3D maps and, and 3D scenes and then they draw over and they made these kind of movements that it was everything very realistic, very clean. I think they changed as well the type of way that they would basically uh, 
color the movies as well, uh, a lot of computer work uh, in these movies and uh, sequentialization in the story. So you could see everything more smooth, everything more clean, the colors better, more bright and everything. And I think in my opinion, I love those movies from that era. I love them, but they actually in the, commun in the community, they, those have been always kind of like a second line type of movie in Disney, in Disney, in Disney projects. Okay. And to be honest, I mention it many times in my, uh, in my Inktober videos that I'm doing right now, uh, that I I will finish this Inktober project, uh, Inktober 52 project, at the end of the year. So I would have completed a full project for a full year, drawing the videos and everything. And uh, to be honest, I uh, I'm gonna make him dressed like me, like my caricature. To be honest, something like this. Are we in frame? Just wanna double check quick if we are in frame. I'm doing kind of a Mickey Mouse and rock and roll because uh, he's wearing gloves. I I love the design of Mickey Mouse, but I just want to kind of emphasize the concept of glove and kind of like uh, this is kind of a, a funny video for me today. Not not thinking too much about uh, the result. I just want to mention, I want to talk about this kind of uh, uh, movie that uh, this kind of uh, documentary I was the other day, this, this interview I was the other day, and I just want to basically just want to basically talk a little bit about uh, about my opinion and, and, and what I think happened with this change. So. As I was saying, the, the introduction of 3D, if you see, for example, in Atlantis, uh, that it looks all 2D, but, you know, the, the ships are 3D, and, and then you have the rocks at the end with the, with, the, with the magical Atlantis concept and everything as well, all of that is... Uh, all of that is basically uh, 3D, and then later the color is very nice, and, and it gives you this immersion in the movie that, that I love. But it is true that with that they change the the wheel. The wheel was working very nice and, and you had, you know, Snow White, you had Aladdin, Lion King, all of those older movies um, and um, kind of the golden era, that they, they even call it the golden era of animation in Disney and everything, that they, they were very successful, everyone was watching it, it was a revolutionary thing. And this came across the years, because I, I have watched many documentaries and many information about Disney. This, this came across the years. They had better years in, in, in the box office. Uh, people liked it more and went more to watch the movies. And then they had other seasons that they it was a little bit more down. There, is, there was a, a lot of changes as well uh, at the time, I believe, in, in the, you know, the Disney inside the structure of Disney as a business and you know directors were coming going moving and, and on all these things and, and, and producers and everything and I understand that that may have impacted in the views maybe some people had some kind of uh, revolutionary ideas at introducing the 3D you need to think about about this with reference yeah, with reference uh, thinking about Pixar as well that Pixar now is uh, is Disney, but uh, at the beginning with Toy Story One, uh, they weren't actually, uh, they weren't actually uh, Disney. They were they were independent, and they uh, they uh, they started doing this project for Toy Story and everything. And, uh, and later is when 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 they joined. It, it was basically bought and joined and everything to to uh, to Disney to the, to the main Disney company, and. Uh, you see this being a, obviously being a business, but but you see this as a revolution. We we had the introduction of 3D and the introduction of 3D concepts within 2D animation and 2D concepts, and uh, yeah. So I think that's what happened, and uh, the change, the change that they tried to do, the change that they tried to do, uh, made maybe. It wasn't kind of nicely accepted by the time that they did the movies, and that's why we had a little bit of failure there. It wasn't a failure, but maybe the people didn't kind of receive it as well as they expected, or as well as they thought the innovation with this type of, of new animation they will get. Because it could trick you. If you weren't into movie, watching many movies, you could feel something was off, 
but you didn't know what it was, okay? Uh, so the ships were a little bit, uh, uh, the ships were, were 3D, uh, in, in the other movie, in the Atlantis, the rocks were, were 3D as well. I think, I think those are masterpieces of Disney and uh, I would say completely overlooked uh, by the people, but you know, this is offer and demand, and, and at the end up, they end up kind of calming down a little bit for a period of time, trying to do a little bit more of 2D stuff, uh, minimizing a little bit the 3D concepts shown in the movies, and then again with the Pixar and everything evolution, it exploded again, and then the, with the concept of doing full length animation, uh, 3D animated movies, and everything that that. I love as well, I love as well. It changed the dynamics, there are different eras for Disney, but I love it. And now we are going into this, uh, since a couple of years ago, we are going into this kind of live action type of uh, uh, era that I like it, but I think the approach is a little bit uh, different of what I expected. To be honest, uh, I... I love Disney, and I said, and I say it all the time. I love Disney, and the, the thing is, with uh, with the live action movies now, that and I have fr I have friends that they they worked in 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 some of the movies, uh, and I know people from all the school that that uh, the people that I've been in lessons that they have taught me how to animate, how to. Uh, character design and everything, and then I, I have people that uh, I know people that they they end up working in, in in industry, in in movies that you are seeing now on TV and everything. Okay, and I I love it, but I think the approach is being again the same like it happened in that era of uh, Planet Treasure and Atlantis and this uh, introduction of 3D. Uh, for example. I have been rewatching currently the uh, Maleficent movies. Those Maleficent are two movies for Maleficent, okay? And Disney is making it very nice, and they want to kind of because they have series as well, and they have TV shows as well, uh, cartoon and, and in live action for like the kids of the villains and and some bad guys, and they want to kind of. Make this twist in the story that, for example, Maleficent wasn't actually that bad as the original story tells, because all of the stories, um, or most of the stories, are not um, uh, Disney original stories. So it, it, Disney took Snow White, took Cinderella uh, from the original writer, and they adapted that for an animation uh, uh, film okay that's totally totally normal to do in, in in movies in books and everything like everything that you're thinking about now like harry potter comes from a book lord of the rings comes from a book and even the 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 own disney things like for example uh, pirates of the caribbean pirates of the caribbean i said it as well before in my jack sparrow video uh, pirates of the caribbean is not a book that comes from the disney uh, park that they had their uh, water attraction with the pirates and everything and they said hey Wait a minute. What if we do a movie about this? And with uh, you know, with Johnny Depp, Orlando Bloom, and Kieran Knightley, and everything, it was beautiful saga, fantastic saga, and everything. And I love it. And I love it. But uh, uh, yeah, the concept of uh, the concept of, uh, of of the live actions now, and and what is happening now, I think is is the same. That they are trying to redo some movies exactly the same like Pinocchio Pinocchio is exactly the same like in the original movie in the original feature but it has some uh, things that uh, it has some things that are uh, different they change some of the characters to adapt it more to modern times they change some of the sense some of the meaning of the story I didn't like it much because if you are being so loyal to the movie, don't change these little things because it puts you off of the story. Or if you reimagine reimagine the movie, like Maleficent, I was saying, you wanna have this kind of second look to to the Sleeping Beauty, and you wanna say, ah, there is actually all this behind behind the scenes with Maleficent, and Maleficent wasn't that bad because the problem with the wings and the and the fairy area that you have there in the marshes and everything, that's new. 
that's new, that's fresh, that's nice, that's interesting, that's something I could watch many times, you know, I watch it today and, you know, some months pass, a couple of years pass and I say, oh, you know what, I just want to try to watch again the Maleficent movie because it's something new for me. And Pinocchio, for example, if you are completely loyal, uh, yes, it will be interesting for me as well. And I would want to follow it and to watch it and to kind of be uh, be there to see the... the, 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 the how powerful Disney is in regarding engine, okay, regarding power of, of industry, how as animation industry you can tank uh, a, a movie like Pinocchio and make it live action and everything looks the same, I have the same feeling like when I was a kid, but now when I'm older, okay, and, and that's incredible, so if if they can do something like that, I, I, I appreciate it and, and I accept it and I, and I watch the movie a thousand times, but as I said, Pinocchio maybe is not one of those movies that I will or I would watch uh, every now and then again and again. Uh, like it happens the same as well with our, our movies. There are movies that are a little bit more, let's say, complicated. Complicated uh, to do things like this. Like Lion King has a lot of... Um, it's, it's plenty basic. Basically, it's all animals. So the lip sync, the lip sync for all of those that are watching this video but they don't know uh, animation terms, the lip scene is basically uh, the lips of the character, how they are matching the the sound that is coming, you know, from the live action actor and, and it's matching the words like it's a person, okay? It's anthropomorphic characters that they are able to talk like humans but they're actually animals. And for me, uh, I find it a little bit uh, weird to see that that movie uh, Lion King, I liked it, but uh, it doesn't give me a comfortable feeling because it's a little bit uh, maybe maybe I'm more comfortable, for example, with the lion in Narnia because the lion in Narnia, even if it is a real looking lion, very real looking lion, more than the the, the Lion King for me, in my opinion, uh, I think. They made it bigger, kind of putting the fantasy into him as well. This could have been something similar. I would have loved to see uh, Mufasa more looking like Mufasa, not looking like a real lion in real life. Uh, Scar has an incredible design uh, with this sinister look. Uh, I think it's based in the real voice actor for the movie that I think it was Jeremy Irons. And they took the general design to make him, to make the cartoon, the caricature of the actor looking like a lion. Uh, it happened as well with Danny DeVito in the Hercules movie with uh, uh, with the trainer that uh, Hercules have as well. That it's, a, it's a phone as well, uh, like a little goat man. And uh, things like this is what, uh, for me, wins people into the Disney team, into watching Disney, into, into being involved in Disney, like like the, the characters have actually character. And to be honest, I'm gonna... Should I change? Yeah, I'm just gonna change one second to a little bit of a thicker one if I have around here. Here's 0 0.2. Just I want to feel the the ear. So that for me is what Disney is all about. You have the character, the cartoon character within the character, and and I love it. And for example, in Lion King, as I was saying before, in in the live action one, you lose that a little bit because all the animals are realistic. You don't know if they're gonna talk or no. And for me, uh, it is not what I would want to see in Disney. And if Disney is watching this video, this is not any kind of offense or anything. This is just me as a, as a, as an animation uh, person and interested in, in, in doing all these things. And, and uh, yeah, as, as, a, as a fan as well, as a professional, uh, kind of trying to trying to see, trying to analyze why why. I think these things uh, happen, you know. Let's do. I'm basically today drawing a mini cartoony design of uh, Mickey Mouse. 
okay and with my signature clothes that I always draw my caricature as you can see in my uh, one year YouTube anniversary or in my YouTube channel I have plenty of uh, my Instagram channel I have plenty of uh, of drawings like this and Inktober as well as you can see in, in the in the in the drawings I'm gonna be doing it like that so basically today is something funny just so I'm able to to talk and and uh, and be here to to comment a little bit about about Disney and my opinion and uh, yes if you're asking if you are wondering about uh, these things that I said that I want to do uh, Disney video analysis yeah probably uh, as soon as I uh, kind of close this project of Inktober and everything, probably I, I start uh, talking about things like this and my opinion about certain movies or my opinion about all the movies, analyzing different types of movies, uh, shorts, films, uh, live action, uh, animation, 3D animation, traditional animation and dif different studios like from Pixar Studio, from uh, the Disney Man Studio and everything and, and uh, yeah, so I'm gonna move into, you know, Lira Aka Brush Duo that I've been using lately to create a little bit of uh, tone in the Inktober videos, okay? I'm gonna put here uh, the list of all my Inktober videos so you can uh, check and see if you like one, so you can jump into that other video and watch as well. I talk about different topics, a little bit about some movies, some books, children's book illustration, how to design a character, how to start doing a character. There's a little bit of everything in, in this in this Inktober challenge because I wanted to to open the concept of, of Inktober and, and just... I'm gonna be using as a reference a prompt, yes, for Inktober, but I want to make the videos about something that I am actually really interested that it's uh, art, animation, drawing, characters, uh, creating stories, and, and all of this. So please feel free to watch whatever you want in the channel, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm gonna be more than happy to engage in the conversation as soon as you ask something or, or you want to request a specific thing for a video or something, okay? And this is not a loyal Mickey design, this is not a Mickey looking Mickey design, this is just a me doing a funny caricature of him. He's kind of jumping there or showing there. Just a little bit here. He's like there jumping or something like this. Okay. Nice. I like this. Very nice. So, yeah. Basically... Uh, Disney live action movies at the moment uh, it's a little bit uh, weird I think there is a very nice adaptation for Pinocchio uh, with the character of the fox there is, a, there is a fox in the story that it is so realistic like the lion in Arnia I don't know who created that character I, I have to look into it and I don't know who animated that character but that is absolutely gorgeous it looks so real how it moves the mouth, how it salivates and everything when he's talking and he's drooling and everything and uh, because he's basically a predator uh, trying to kidnap the Pinocchio and, and the other kids and everything for Stromboli. So this, that kind of character, that character it is absolutely, I think is the best thing in the whole, uh, in the whole movie. Uh, I enjoyed as well different takes like uh, you we you have as well the Alice in Wonderland the first movie with Johnny Depp as well and uh, as a Matt Hatter it is very enjoyable it is something different it is not exactly the same it's kind of an interpretation a little bit more dark interpretation of the original story from Disney the original Disney movie and and I love it as well so if you are gonna take a movie let's say I want to see I would love to see Hercules okay but you can give an approach, uh, something like uh, uh, this type of movies, okay? Like you did with uh, with Maleficent or you did with uh, Beauty and the Beast, for example. Beauty and the Beast, I watched the other day, the live action with Emma Watson. And um, I think the, the name of the guy is Dan. Dan. I don't remember the surname now, but I think it's Dan. Uh, so basically, that's a very nice movie as well. 
um, very similar to, to the original. Basically, what happens in the story is almost exactly a copy. Uh, the music is incredible. I love the music, like in the original, in the original feature and everything. I love it, and it is very nice. Uh, it's another take. It's another take, and it can be nice. That that is an example of a movie that Disney kind of tried to uh, replicate in live action. It works very nice, very interesting. It has a little bit of a twist. It's not exactly exactly the same, but it has a little bit of a twist, and it's very nice. And and I loved it. A lot of famous characters as well. Uh, in my opinion, uh, if I were empowered and able to decide uh, who is gonna be who in what movies and that i think emma watson has done a brilliant paper brilliant brilliant role in the movie i think uh, uh, she's very good uh, but for me i prefer as a fan i prefer to see a actor that i don't know actor that i don't know so i can connect because Disney is so big that for me, she's not Belle, to be honest. She's not Belle. She's Hermione from Harry Potter. And I, I, I love her acting. I love her in Harry Potter and everything. But she, she's, she's so strong in that character, like Harry Potter, uh, Ron Weasley. So those guys, the actors, for me, it has been such a tremendous project. That is very difficult to see them in other things. They need to have opportunities, absolutely. They need to have other other roles, absolutely. But for a movie such important for Disney, like it's Beauty and the Beast, maybe I would have preferred to see an unknown actress playing the role. That I find maybe more connection with her to Belle. Okay? And... Yeah, uh, for example, uh, it happens as well with uh, with many of the other movies and everything, and, and, and I love it. But now we have the the new Snow White coming. The new Snow White, it's been polemic to the top. Everything has been a polemic with this movie. I I want to watch it, but at the same time, uh, I am not very inclined to go to the cinema and watch it, maybe I wait until they release it uh, afterwards or something like that or all the all the criticism and polemic with the main actress, we, I don't remember the name, I think it's Rachel or something like that, uh, all the talks that has have been out and all the comments to the press, all these kind of so you already know by her comments, Gal Gadot has been very uh, Gentleman, gentlewoman, uh, and, and being on the side, as a, she's the bad, the bad character there in the story. In in, in Snow White, she's the witch, but she's been very correct, very formal, very everything, and and yeah, that's that's what I want to be interested in watching the movie. I don't want an actress or an actor to be talking about. Uh, many topics or many controversial topics in the movie or things that you may have changed from the original story because me as a fan, uh, since I'm a kid, I find it very unsettling that now I, I'm gonna be watching the movie with those thoughts already in my mind because she's mentioning these things and the other things. I, I you know, I'm reluctant to already, I'm reluctant to the movie before it's even released, uh, before I even watched it, I'm reluctant to watch it because uh, all this uh, bad press, I would say, that it has, it's been around and it's sad. It's sad because um, and uh, this is a main, is a main Disney movie. This is the the, the the first movie, and I think it's been a little bit uh, like you put it on a on a cocktail on a cocktail thingy, and you you shook it a little bit, you sh you're shaking it a little bit, and uh, and it's a little bit of a of a sea. I don't know. Uh, completely, feel free to tell me in the comments what do you think about about this uh, this. Uh, this situation and what's your opinion about if you are excited about watching the movie or not or if you will not watch it or or everything like it's been a lot of polemic with the design of the dwarves for the story and with the cast of live action or no cast of live action as i can see by the trailer as everything is animated everything is 3d and uh, it is in my opinion the trailer 
only talking about the dwarves, a little bit grotesque. They made them very cartoony, realistic, very big in size, uh, very clumsy looking, I think, for me, in my opinion. Uh, the integration, as well like in Pinocchio, a little bit with Pinocchio himself, is not as as integrated as I would love to see, or as I had expected. I I enjoy most of the time more to watch the how the movie was made, what the interviews, what the comments of the directors, comments of the actors, uh, how it was recorded, uh, kind of the whole exploration about how to make the movie, uh, like in Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Disney movies, I watch the movie, yes, first, and then I will dig into the extras and I will dig into watching everything I kind of watch uh, about, about the story. And uh, to be honest, it's... Uh, it's one of those movies that I don't think it happened to me in many movies that before seeing it, I am reluctant to see. I think that will be the word. And I will definitely watch it to see what's about because I don't like to, uh, you know, judge something or disregard something before me watching it completely. I'm just talking about my my first impression of the trailer and my first impression of the press comments and, and commentary of this actress uh, you know to the press and everything and uh, yeah it's a little bit uh, as a fan that I want to watch Disney movies and I want to watch new Disney movies and projects it is a little bit uh, uh, controversy so yeah I think I'm gonna sign for today uh, I just had a small talk about uh, Disney, uh, different types of movies, and, and why I wanted to do this regarding to Glove. That Glove is the Inktober prompt for today. And uh, and yeah, I'm going to be signing for today. This is uh, David Biedel 23, David Biedel 23, and this is the Mandragos Cave. I hope you like it, this uh, kind of uh, impression of, of, of the live actions and everything, and, and my kind of mini Disney comment. And... Uh, Feel free to like, subscribe, comment, and all these things, and uh, I will open conversation as soon as, as soon as I can, and uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.